So I had this uh, call that came in while I was out here at this store working on something else, like two hours from where I live. So it's a good drive out here, so I might as well take the extra work and the extra call so that way nobody else has to come out here. Plus I'm on call tonight, so yeah, it'd be smart to just take it. So I took it and it's got this weird ice formation. Only the left side is froze up. And while that's not too uncommon, I guess, sometimes, I don't know why it's happening on a system with an EEV that's on a rack. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain for me. Most commonly, I see the uneven ice pattern on evaporators on split system walk-ins or any kind of refrigeration system, air conditioning, whatever. It's usually a sign and an indication that the system is low on refrigerant, very low. Guess I just need to get it defrosted and see what's what's going on with it. Step one is always to defrost it, get all the ice off. I like these model coffin cases because you can uh, support the fan up like that with that chain. Take a look at that ice. That's strange. I like being able to high speed, but you got to have a steady camera for that. Otherwise, the video comes out all messed up. Now this is some, some evidence here. I don't know exactly what it means, but check this out down here. What this looks like. So this, take a close look at, at, at the design of this ice here. At the lines on it. Right there. What is this trying to tell us? All, each little line like that is a, is a point in time. I think it's every defrost cycle. Every defrost cycle we're getting a new layer of water that's rushing over that and then freezing. Kind of like the, the years on the on the trunks of a tree you know the rings on the trees kind of the same thing but these are like defrost cycles so something's happening and, and this ice is building up slowly and slowly but why is it only building up on one half so here's what it looks like with the evaporator cover off just the left half is froze up i don't understand it's probably something really simple and when you guys see this you're going to comment and you're going to tell me what it is and I'm gonna be like oh well how did I miss that
So it's been about 30, 45 minutes since I started it up and it's barely holding at 21. Let's see, this is, so this is a dual temp case. We've got dual temp switch right there and I think some asshole has moved it to high temp. So let's, uh, let's move that back. Let's move that back and see what happens. So here we're looking at the RDM and the way this is, our unit is this one, that's the one we're working on. This other one we're going to look at here for a couple minutes to see how the dual temp thing works. So this is the graph, this shows the defrost cycles. This is medium temp, so medium temp is going to sustain right there between right around 24, 25, 28 maybe, you know. Um, and then here when you switch it over, so this was at low temp before and then they switched it to medium temp. It went into a defrost cycle, came back down and hovered right there around the medium temp range. Pretty cool, huh? Now these RDMs are pretty cool to where you can go back pretty far and select a date range. So I can look at uh, like an entire month. So let's look at March. Let's look from the beginning of the month until let's look at one week from now. Looks like this graph shows every day there's probably two defrost cycles in each day. Now let's go from the 10th all the way up until yesterday or today. And there, now that gives you a pretty cool view of exactly when the switch was turned from low temp to medium temp. So here's what it looks like when you do an entire month. Um, this was, let's see, the whole month of February. And there's a whole lot of other cool stuff you can do on the RDMs, but I don't really have time for all that today. Um, I'm two hours away from the house. So I'm going to start wrapping it up here. I don't know why it froze up like that. If y'all do, let me know. So maybe we can dive into RDM another day. Um, like I said, I'm pretty far from the house, but let me know if you guys have seen that kind of ice pattern before. Such a big glob or, or block of ice just on the left side, on the inlet side of the, of the coil on a rack with an electronic expansion valve. And... Um, transducers and all that so it's 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 strange to me so there's got to be something else going on maybe they're overstocking it on the half side i'm not sure let me know in the comments what y'all think thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and like it if you like it thanks later